Hey Owls, so today you're going to make your own cell membrane and we're going to do that with some straws and inside those straws is a string with the goal of kind of making it a square shape and it's okay if it's not perfect and you could technically do it without the string but it kind of helps support it, make it a little more flexible. You're going to take your straws, your cell, and you're going to put it in this soapy solution that are in your instructions how to make and notice when you rock it back and forth, it doesn't break. And your cell membrane is the same way. Notice I'm putting my hand in and it's going through the cell membrane. I take it out, the cell membrane is still intact because the cell membrane can heal, it can repair itself. The phospholipid bilayer is very flexible. So now let's see what happens though when we try to put a large molecule through, such as a starburst. Let's say this represents a protein. The phospholipid bilayer did break this time. So how do large molecules and things like proteins get through the phospholipid bilayer? So to demonstrate that, we're going to take a piece of thread that's been tied into a circle and you're going to put it on your soapy membrane. All right, as you can see, we now have a mechanism to get larger proteins and molecules through. Let's test it out. It went through and the rest of our cell membrane is intact. 